I'm Zoe Kennelly reporting for Kids First and today I'll be reviewing Jojo Rabbit. This film was beautiful. I think it deserves many nominations for the award season. It's honestly a work of art and you may not understand most of it if you do decide to watch it if you don't know a lot about World War II. And I love that this is kind of a story that's told many times before but they kind of turned it into their own take and made it very original. And I love that it's kind of a dark comedy because it's a very tragic time that happened a long time ago, but they kind of made it seem better than it actually was. So this film is basically about a boy named Jojo who lives in Nazi Germany who is currently attending Hitler Youth Training Camp. And he kind of doesn't, like he understands that Jews are basically bad that's what Hitler thought, and they were basically brainwashing the kids into thinking that by teaching them that Jews are bad from a very young age. So one day he finds out that his mom is hiding a Jew in their house, and the rest is basically Jojo and self-discovery kind of, but also kind of understanding that Hitler was kind of crazy. Um, and throughout the film, he has an imaginary, childlike version of Hitler always talking to him, and he's kind of a, a close friend to him. It's like whenever you're young and you have an imaginary friend, that's how it was for Jojo. I think of the director, Taka Watiti, did a really good job of making this horrific event in time actually funny and a comedy. And um, I think of the he just did an amazing job directing everything and one thing that I really did like I noticed throughout the film was the music and most music was from the Beatles and I thought that was just so creative because the Beatles I love their music and then the way that they put it into the film it just makes the whole movie feel a lot more like groovier I also love the acting in this film um Takawa Titi he plays also Hitler he's not only the director but I thought he did an amazing job. And I also really liked Roman Griffin David's performance. I haven't seen him in any other films. So this is, yeah, this is actually his first debut. And I think he actually did a really good job. Um, I definitely felt his emotion and everything. And I, the acting in this film overall was very good. And Scarlett Johansson, who is Black Widow and she's in so many movies, she was amazing in this film. She's the single mom of Jojo and I think that she just did an outstanding job as well. And I also love the colors in this film because it was a nice balance between the sadness that everything was because it just, it didn't make the film boring and it made it like vivid and alive. And the, cin the cinematography was also very well done. I think one of my favorite scenes is when Jojo and his mom are like on a bike ride and it just it made me feel like the the bond between the Jojo and his mother it was just so special seeing them like that. So I think I would rate this film a 5 out of 5 stars and recommend it for ages 12 to 18 and of course adults as well. I also feel like the message of this film is to believe what you believe in. Thank you guys all so much for watching. If you liked it, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Check out some of our other Kids First reviewers and reporters, and make sure to check out Jojo Rabbit in theaters November 8th. Thank you, bye. Oh God.